David and Ephraim have been friends since school, but now they're stuck in a rut, bored and frustrated. They decide to exploit a government initiative and become war dogs. Through sheer dumb luck and somehow land a $300 million contract with the Pentagon. And despite knowing nothing about arms dealing, they really want the money and find themselves selling guns to some very questionable people. Naturally, it's not long before they're in Iraq, way over and over their heads, and fleeing for their lives. Jonah Hill and Miles Teller are the war dogs in this, an unbelievably true story from the director of The Hangover. Let's take a look. Hello? Hey. Hey, babe. Did I wake you? No, I'm just at the hotel. We're about to have some breakfast. Listen, I get why you're doing this. It's just the lying that kills me. I need you to know that you can tell me anything, David. David. Yeah, I gotta call you right back. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Okay, I love you, bye. Hey! What? What? Go, go! My name is David Packhouse. I'm 22 years old, and I'm an international arms dealer. Six months ago, I was a massage therapist at Miami Beach. Sorry, you fell. And now, here I was with my best friend from junior high. I think you should come work for me. I'm against this war. This isn't about being pro-war. This is about being pro-money. <laughs> How did two 20-something young men land a $300 million Pentagon contract? You told me you guys were selling bed sheets. I also told you that we were selling other stuff, too. I thought you meant pillows. Hundred million rounds of AK-47 ammo. He can fill the whole order. I'm barred from doing any business with the U.S. government. I'm on a watch list. You're on a terrorist watch list. Do it for Homeland Security. Relax, bro. This is the job to do business with the people. The U.S. government can't do business with directly. No We're on the verge of making three hundred million dollars. Is that legal? It's not illegal. I'm not a bad man. A certain situation, I have to ask myself, what would a bad man do? Is this safe driving to Baghdad? Very safe. 50 50. What, like 50% we live, 50% we die? Yes, this is why we drive through the night. It's much safer. How much safer? 50 50. Go. Oh. An unbelievable movie based on the book Arms and the Dudes by Guy Lawson, which he had originally written as an article for Rolling Stones magazine. Uh, it's an unbelievable story, so ridiculous that they could actually end up in that situation, that if it hadn't have happened, you just wouldn't have believed it. So come down to Saw at Into Brayhead this month and see War Dogs.